Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about the various kinds of customer statements you can issue from QuickBooks Online. Let's go to customers real quick. So I'm going to go to sales and then to customers. I'm going to select a couple customers and then I'm going to choose batch actions. I'm going to pretend like these are the people I want to send statements to. The first thing I can do is select batch actions. Then I'm going to select create statements. I have a couple options for the statements that I can create and create the balance forward statement. Uh, let's make everything start with one, one, uh, one, one, 22. Uh, let me click apply. I'm going to generate a balance forward statement. My statement date will be today's date. My start date is going to be one, one, 22. My end date will be today. I've got a couple clients. It says missing email addresses. Well, that's fine. I'm not emailing this to anybody. Statements available, all of them, fantastic. Again, not emailing. You might choose to email. I am just demonstrating. What I want you to see is what this looks like. So the balance forward statement, if I click on print or preview, it's gonna look like this. So it's gonna say your balance as of the day before the day that I picked as my start date. And then here's the history. Here's all the payments and the invoices and the journal entry and the deposit, like all the things that are happening within the account. I can see it for all the folks. So if I were printing this out and mailing it, fantastic, I'd have this information. This is the balance forward statement. Let's look at the other types of statements we have available. If I click on the drop down and select open item, I'm gonna click apply. There is no date range to select from, just here it is. I'm gonna choose print or preview. This is gonna show anything that is open. Open isn't really a term that I think is very intuitive. Um, bookkeepers understand this, but you might not. It's when you go to the customer profile, it's anything that says open. So I'll show you when we get done with this, but you could very well have a payment such as this one. Um, the payment is sitting here. It's negative 150. There's this invoice. The payment never got connected to the invoice. Therefore, it shows up here as open. And so if, if that's happening to you before you send your statement, maybe just take a look and see if you need to connect them. So this one is a customer. I'll come back to that at the end of this video. Let me change this to third statement type, which is a transaction statement. So I've got from 1-1 one, one through April and then down here, printer preview. This is my transaction statement. All I'm seeing is my invoices. And not only am I seeing the invoices, I'm really, I'm not seeing like, I'm not seeing my payments. I like to see my payments. So if, if I take a look at Alvin here, Alvin had an invoice and then a payment. So owed $1,000, I've received $1,000. The rest of these, they're just open invoices that haven't had a payment yet. Let me go back to this one. A customer, that's one we're going to look at later. There's an amount, an amount for the invoice, amount received, invoice received, invoice received. But remember earlier how we had that weird like 150 and it was kind of chilling out and it didn't really have a friend? Well, I don't even see it here. So if, if my client were looking at this, they would say, well, where, where did that other thing go? It's an invoice and it's an okay invoice, but it's not my preferred invoice. Excuse me. I said invoice. I meant statement. It's an okay statement. It's a statement that gives you some information, but this may not be your preference in statements. These are the three types of statements you have available. You can create your statements in bulk like I did here. You can find your individual customers over to the right. You can create a statement for your individual customers. Let's take a look at a customer because I want to show you this. Over here where it says status, there's open and there's overdue, which is a type of open. Um, there's unapplied, there's accepted. Let me just, 
I don't know how to get rid of my estimate and keep the rest of the stuff. So pretend like you don't see the estimate, but look at the rest of this. Like this payment, it's unapplied. That means that it's not connected to anything, but it definitely could be. Let me show you what that means. I could go to new transaction, I can go to payment, and then I have these invoices and I have these credits down here. So my unapplied payment and my deposit. Once I link it up to this, it'll stop appearing on that one statement. I know this will be longer and more rambling than my videos typically are, but I really want you to see this and to, to kind of get a sense of it and be like, oh, okay, yeah, that is how that's different. So here, um, just the two things. Let's go to the balance forward. Let's go 1120. I know it's further back, but it's just easier. Printer preview. So when I look at this, I have this information. So I have the amount, I have the running balance. That's great. And then let me grab the transaction statement and apply preview. And this is the transaction statement. I hope this video has been helpful. If my team or I can do anything for you, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you so much and have a great day.